Okay, now we're going to measure an angle using the Z-cat. And again, um, every time I do a measurement, I try and position the, the, the probe in, into a starting point and give it a go-to there. So in this case, since we're going to do an angle, I'll highlight the angle icon and I'll hit the enter button. And it's telling me I need to take six points. So in doing an angle like this, we're going to do three points on one line and three points on the other line because an angle is basically two lines. Um, so I'm going to give it a go to above this line and then I'll come in and I will touch one, two, three. So I've taken three points on a line, but I got to be very careful here because from the third point to the fourth point, it's going to try and go in a straight line if I don't give it a go to. Um, we don't want to crash the ZCAD any more than is normal. So I'm going to give it a go to out here and maybe another go to here. So it'll drive it around the part. And then I will touch three more points on this line. And give it one last go to up here. And then I'll hit finish. As soon as the icon is flashing, I can put it in my session. Uh, it's angle number one. Now if I want to see that angle run under DCC, I can highlight it. I can hit enter. And it will do exactly what I did under DCC. Measure the first line. Do the go-tos around. Measure the second line. And come up. Now if I wanted to see the results like any other ones, I can bring it up by the results key. And it tells me that angle is 90.126 degrees, which makes sense. It looks like a 90 degree angle to me. I could send it out or I could just archive it here. So again, I've done a few dimensions. I'll go ahead and save it just to make sure I don't lose it accidentally. And we're ready to go.